Hi class, how are you guys doing today? Yay. Good? Okay, so can someone read me the objective for today's lesson? Yes, Jess. Um, how to write an effective paragraph. Okay, good. So today, yes, we're going to write a, learning how to write an effective paragraph. So can someone tell me what the difference between an effective paragraph and a regular paragraph would be? Like, for example, what makes a paragraph effective? Can someone tell me? Yeah, Lauren. I think an effective paragraph is clear and concise, makes a point. Yeah, exactly. So it's going to support the topic of the paragraph with strong evidence. So your strong evidence is what makes a paragraph very effective and very strong. Um, so let's say we're going to write a paragraph about our favorite movie. Can someone tell me like one of their favorite movies? And anybody? Yeah. The Lion King. Lion King. Okay. Anybody else have a favorite movie? You want to share? Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. Those are all really good movies. Okay. So I want everyone to think of their favorite movie and then three reasons why it's their favorite. So we're just gonna brainstorm a bit right now. Okay. So now that everyone's kind of thinking about their favorite movie and the reasons why, we're going to go over how to write an effective paragraph. And so an effective paragraph has four main components. And so we want to make sure it's very clear and very effective by remembering the word tree. So it kind of sounds a little funny, but we're going to remember. So I'm going to spell out the word tree on the board. And then I'm going to draw a little tree to help you guys remember on the side. OK. So can someone tell me what they think the T stands for when we're going over the components of a paragraph, what makes a strong paragraph, and how you would start it. So what do you think T stands for? Yeah, topic sentence. Topic sentence, great. OK, so yeah, so to begin a paragraph, our topic sentence will be sharing a main idea of the paragraph, and we want to make sure it's very strong and very clear. So if we were saying that our favorite movie is Finding Nemo, you would say that for example, this topic sentence would be, my favorite movie is, Tom, is Finding Nemo because um, this reason, this reason, this reason. So you have your three reasons. So you can lay out what you're going to be discussing in your paragraph. So when we're talking about R, I'm going to say it means our reasons. So these reasons are the reasons that you brainstorm. So the reasons why you think this, why this is your favorite movie. So you could say that, so what are some reasons that you guys have your favorite movie? Like what are some reasons why it's your favorite? It's funny. It's funny, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so one reason you'd be like, yeah, because it's funny, maybe because it makes me laugh, I can watch my family. Those, kind of, those are makes up some of the reasons. So our third letter, E, is going to stand for evidence. Does anyone have an idea of what I mean by evidence? Yeah. Um, something to support why your reasons are reasons. Yeah, so for example, if you think maybe your movie is funny, one of your reasons why your Instagram movie is funny, you could say that every time I watch this movie, it makes you laugh a lot. That would be kind of evidence for one of your reasons. So for every reason, so you have three reasons in your paragraph, you're going to have evidence for each of your three reasons. Okay, and finally, the fourth letter, E, is going to send for the, an the ending. So the ending means the ending sentence in your paragraph, and this is also known as a concluding sentence. So concluding sentence is supposed to wrap up all your ideas in your paragraph and make it very clear for the reader to understand what the paragraph was about. So you kind of summarize in the end saying, this is my favorite movie because it's funny, I can watch my family, and it always makes you laugh. So those are your three reasons. So you would, that would be your concluding sentence. Does anyone have an idea of like maybe what a concluding sentence would be for their paragraph? Like you have The Lion King, um. for example? The Lion King is a good movie because it's engaging. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. So that would be one of the reasons you can conclude in your ending paragraph. Okay. So to, follow, to conclude all of this lesson, we're going to remember tree every time we're writing a paragraph. So all together, how do we remember how to write an effective paragraph? Tree. 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 What comes first? Topic, Topic sentence. sentence. What comes second? Reasons. What comes next? Evidence. And finally? Ending. Which means? Concluding. Sentence. sentence. <laughs> Great. OK. So every time we're going to be thinking about how to write a paragraph, we're going to think of tree. And you should be able to write clearly and effectively. And that should be good to go.